Hello, hello, hello to all our warriors today. I hope you all are fine. Stress, anxiety prevails everywhere. Is my voice audible and clear to all of you out there? Hi, can you all hear me? Hello, Kasar. Hi, Rupashri. Hi, Nandita. Hello, hello. I hope you all are doing great. Thank you very much for the love, the audience. I can totally understand what you people are passing through and we can totally understand that uh, what are the states now, Ahmed? Hello, Afshan. Hi, Aklima. Hello, Ali. Hello, Ambili, Ambreen, Amani. I hope you all are fine. Thank you very much for joining in. So we are here today to actually uh, tell you that this is the time when the things have to be under our control. This is the time where we have to reduce the nervousness. We are here today to enhance the positivity and to give you strength and boost it to pass through this smoothly. We are here to give you energy and make it easy for all of you today. Me, your chief mentor, and with me is my team, Dr. Gori, Dr. Madhu, Dr. Sagnika, Dr. Ash, Dr. Kalai. We all are here to give you the last minute booster, which you people require. I would request you all to stay on the mute mode so that the session goes smooth. Thank you very much, thank you. Now, we have been working hard. It's been months and months. And if you talk about me, my mentors, I think more than, more than 80 mocks we had been taking in the last 20 days. It was, it was such a difficult task for all of us, day and night, busy. But coaching you guys, the fast track, the crash courses, all the badges, one after the other. 24 7 you ask Gori you ask Ashwarya you ask Madhu you ask Sam so you ask Kalai that daily we are since morning we start and till the end we are into that element of telling you that how we have to be the best till the last day but despite working so hard I would like to still know what is the reason that we find it still difficult why the frame of mind is still shaky why we feel that we are short of preparation. Why we are not able to cope up with this stress. And why we think that attempting this exam is going to be difficult for us. And how we are going to make it easy for ourselves. Now we need to learn today that why is this heartbeat so fast? Why do we feel that still, despite all the hard work, today we know nothing. We need to work on this together. It's difficult because we are focusing towards the problem. We are focusing towards the mindset, Nandita. Priya, no, my dear. We are focusing that maybe the preparation is lacking still. Believe me, nobody has 100% preparation. We are not able to cope up with this stress. And we are fearful of that day of the exam. Oh my God, what would happen if I have a blackout? Oh my God, what would happen if the things would not come in my mind and I'll be silent? This would not happen. Believe me, this is all what we are feeling today because deep down inside, we are shaky. You have to tell yourself today that I'm here to succeed. If out of those 14 students in the circuit, if one has to pass, that would be you. Seema, you. Nandita, you. Priya, you. Rupashri, my girl, you. Amani, you. You have to tell yourself, yes, Anu, my dear, yes, it would be you. Why? Because you have been working hard. Why? Because you want to succeed badly. You have been working for this day and you are working towards success and you're, op you're, you're positive and you're having optimism today. I just want to tell all of you, Rabia, that this, Nandita, this time, every, every single candidate is feeling the same. Believe me, we are receiving the same messages. I feel that I've not read anything. I feel that whatever I've read, I cannot just recall that. I feel that I won't be able to settle the role player. What if the role player is angry? So do you think all the role players would be angry? Seema, do you think that this, every station would be including that clinical governance audit? Right? No, the difficult stations are going to be difficult for everyone and there will be like one or two. Believe me, the examiners are there to pass you. It is only the mindset that we feel that it's difficult. The very first thing that we are here to inculcate today for all of you is that you have to tell yourself that I can do it. 
this practice which we have been doing that has made us perfect, you will have a perfect time management because you have been working on this provided you stay composed, provided that you don't have nervousness. What would this stress do, please? This stress would only make you confused. The stress would only decrease your efficiency. I know that lots has been at, at, your, at, your, at the back of your mind that, oh, what would my family say? What would my in-laws say? What would my parents say? What would my husband say? What would my wife say? Again, I'm going to take this example. <laughs> Am I right? Emma? Emma is my boy. Very well done. He knows that this is at the back of mind. And I know that you have been facing a lot during this journey. Each and every student has been passing through a difficult time. Sacrifice in terms of hospital, sacrifice in terms of kid, sacrifice in terms of relationship, sacri sacrifice in terms of responsibilities. But what we can do today is whatever the faith is, we can pray to the almighty that the blessings be with us till the last day. This is what we can do. And what we can do is that we give our 100% from this point onwards. How can we make it easy? By being determined and telling ourselves again and again, it's not the end of the world. We would do it. Yes, my girl, Dalila, very well done. And just be focused in the last few days. We are going to teach you today that how you have to be focused, what is required in the last few days. Just do a good time management of preparation. Along with that, doing a good station management as well. We are right here to tell you exactly what is required in the last few days. You do compassion, you do good deeds. Definitely it comes back to you. These are the things which would help you guys. Have faith deep down inside, please. Do not worry if one or two stations go bad because still you have got 12 to manage and you fight till the last station, believe me, you're going to pass. Kalai would tell you that how exactly you people can do an efficient use of the last few days. And she would guide you guys at what is required now. And don't be off track because the last days are very important days for actually producing and being, being efficient, right? Hello, Kalai, how are you doing? Yeah, ma'am. I'm doing good, ma'am. How are you? <laughs> That's great to know. I know you're on duty. I hope no emergency around, is it? No, ma'am. Yeah. no. At <laughs> okay, percent. that's lovely. Thank you very much, Kalei. Kalei had been super busy you, friends with the past three students, back-to-back -back mocks going on. So, uh, Kalei, efficient use of the last few days. Please tell students out of your experience that what is the best way that they can utilize this time best before they are, they are just ready to take the exam? Yes, ma'am, definitely. Yeah. Hello, students. So last few days are very important days, okay? So utilize your maximum time to practice important stations. So I would suggest that nothing to be read new in these days. So whatever you have read is more than enough. Believe me, you people already have read a lot. So just revise what, what are the stations you already practiced. So practice the maximum stations as much as possible daily. And as ma'am said that, being confident and cool are very important for this exam. So already all of you have passed part two. It means that your knowledge is adequate. So here they are going to check whether we are communicating properly or not. And then they are going to check our knowledge also. Definitely, I'm, I'm not saying that they are not going to check our knowledge. But for that, being confident and cool are very important. Okay. And so for that, you have to prepare your mind. You have to say to yourself that you are going to succeed. Believe me, in last few days, I used to take a notebook and then I used to write, I will win, I will pass this uh, exam. So like that, you have to practice your mind as you're going to succeed. But first of all, you have to believe in yourself. Okay. And apart from that, I would like to suggest all of you, like, don't compromise your sleep. The sleep is very important for your active brain. So whatever the, <clears throat> whatever the sleeping pattern you want, want the day before the exam you have to start from now onwards you cannot change your sleeping pattern in the last day for example now if you are practicing till one o'clock in the midnight and you cannot expect you go to the sleep at 10 o'clock in the night before the day before the exam so you have to practice your sleeping pattern also that is also very important 
and uh, the during the exam you have to concentrate through the 14 stations so that is very important so for that what you have to do the last few days try to practice 7 or 14 stations continuously with a timer so you keep a 2 minutes 30 minutes reading timer and after the 10 minutes discussion timer and like that you have to practice at least 7 stations if possible 14 stations continuously so that will increase your concentration at the day of the exam so th so that you won't feel fatigue whenever the last station comes okay so that 2 minutes 30 uh, 2 minutes and 30 seconds reading time is very very important so that is going to decide your station how you are going to perform so now itself you keep your take a station and uh, fix your 2 minutes 30 seconds time and practice what are the important points you should not miss in the station. For each station, there will be some points. For example, if you are taking pulmonary embolism, you should not miss BMI, you should not miss hormones, and you have to tell about the next pregnancy. Like that, for each and every station, there will be some important points. So in two minutes and 30 seconds, try to organize those points you should not miss on that in that station. And uh, if possible, use a chat box also because in the exam, we will be using the chat box only. And I would strongly suggest that all of you practice with a timer, practice with a video on, use the chat box like an exact exam scenario with your study buddy so that you are used to this pattern. Whenever you are sitting in the exam, it won't create any anxiety for you, okay? So uh, I know all, all you have read prepared very well and um, if you can't then who can thank you <laughs> yeah Kalei absolutely right I would just do a quick recap that Kalei was absolutely right in saying that you all have to practice now to build up your stamina please and organizing your thoughts for example in two minutes you have to write down in your virtual pack that yes okay this is a pulmonary embolism I need to ask about BMI I need to ask about the smoking these four five points in one minute organize yourself why because in the flow of the station you often tend to forget but if you're going to practice it today on the day of exam that would really help you guys in this all right well done thank you very much Gori. please what do they expect what do they have to do actually when there's a new station now friends all of you please remember that 14 stations would not be difficult please don't think that angry husband would be everywhere Please don't think that a sad depression or an intrauterine fetal death would be everywhere. See, Vipin, you're going to get a difficult station hardly to win exam. The way I've coached you guys, the way you have been practicing, even a new station, if you follow the pattern, that would not be difficult for you guys. Believe me, provided you stay composed, provided you just follow the general pattern, which you people have been practicing upon right so you just need to stay calm composed and think about the basics of the station however if at all new station would be there uh gori would be telling you guys that what do you expect hello gori how are you doing yeah. I'm fine, Dr. Sedra. Thank you very much, my dear. Your how students want to help. <laughs> yeah, how is our fast track students now? Yeah, Six fast track is crazy. <laughs> Friends, Gori starts in the morning. And, you know, I kept her specifically for the fast track. And this time, fast track was like 180 strength. And Gori was messaging each and every student separately. And she was like, from the morning, I started doing the queries and it, it comes yeah. night that all the students are asking. And I'm, I'm hats off to her that 24-7 available to you guys, Siva, Whipping, Costa, you people know. So, uh, Gori, what is your experience and what do you want to say? Students have been benefited a lot by your experience. And what do you want to say in the last uh, few days and the day of exam? And if at all a new station comes, my dear. Yeah, so first of all, it's very good. I saw from the first day how they are doing their preparation. It's very yes. good. They know each yeah. and everything. Yeah. Each and each it means so many minor, minor points they need to cover. That's very good. But mm -hmm. now it's the time that we have to do a focused study. We can't read any new topics nowadays. Okay. <laughs> so now only three to four days. So just remember that already Dr. Kalai have explained you a lot of things how to go in these days. So a few more things that you have to do before the exam is one day before exam. First of all, as Kalai explained you how to maintain your sleep. You have to be good care of yourself and sleep early. Try to make your sleep pattern from now onward. And please eat nutritious food, healthy foods, okay? Don't take anything, whatever going to happen in your house. I can understand everybody's 
married kids in laws all problems will be there but just keep aside all these things and just tell yourself that you have to pass this exam don't yeah. take any unnecessary stress nowadays okay this is most important point second thing once you get up in the early morning on the day of exam pray to the god not only for you for each other pray for each other first believe in yourself as well as with the god whatever your religious points just 5 minutes read in your mind then you go and sit in front of your computer at least one hour before you can sit check everything my camera that all of this working properly but whenever you are sitting again tell yourself don't be panic i can understand that day is very difficult tachycardia panic all these things will come <laughs> but don't be panic okay it will make you more worse so stay relaxed calm and composed at that time okay yeah so on the day of exam they need to check all those things prior right ashwari mm. is going to tell as well so gori wants yeah. all of you to take almonds from this day onwards right gori yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> take almonds milk and on the day of exam a uh, few things you can keep on your table just like water if you have habits of drinking tea or coffee that make one thermos in front of your table almonds chocolate toffees whatever you like so but those things please whenever you have 2 minutes time at that time you are allowed to take you can eat at that time don't keep any other things like pen paper books any other gadget in front of the table because in the background chaperon continuously observing you what is surroundings so be avoid all these things just only water biscuits all these things if at any time you feel hypoglycemic you can have a tea or coffee or whatever you like at that time okay and second thing yeah next prasidra so okay, if at all if there is a new stations this is the most challenging for all of us i can understand that thing because in my day also one stations came new but the most important thing whenever you think it is new topic from any talk to 2020 if you have not read anything don't be panic at that time first be quiet focus on question what is question okay it is simulated patient task or if it is structured discussion then see from which module then focus what is their task what they want to ask in that specific specific case then go through that if you don't have any much knowledge of all the topic then the most important point here if you don't know anything suppose then first see from which module that is the topic in go slowly at least try to cover your information gathering try to cover all the safety points if you don't know what is the case what they want to ask directly you can after the introduction you can ask directly open question from the role pillar role pillar then will give directions that from which module it is and what they want and what is their task role pillar will guide you at that time next slide dr sidra yeah here the most important at that time that you have to be confident when you see the new station so here again same thing if you don't know anything ask the role pillar first they will give you the direction then you have to complete your rest of the template cover all the safety points if at all we don't know about any new topic we can cover rest of the domains like information gathering safety points communication with colleagues at least you involve mdt complete your template allergy points address the patient concern so in that way not at least pass but we can get some our borderline and apply clinical knowledge but rest mm -hmm. of the domains we can easily pass in the new station suppose if any suppose last time alport syndrome but we know that this is a maternal medicine topic we can follow mm -hmm. maternal medicine so okay. like that if any new station just follow the template according to module wise don't panic be confident even though if new station if you will be there in front of the examiner if anything change in your facial expression examiner will understand that you don't know so exactly. don't lose your confident correct you have to be correct. confident Correct. I would just like to uh, add in Gauri's point of view. See, in uh, November, Alport came for the first time. In May, asthma came for the first time. Now, I would just like to tell you guys: if you just remember your outline, which I have given you, and if you remember my algorithms, you people would remember that if at all asthma has come, it's a new station in maternal medicine. Often in maternal medicine, we expect a new station because every time in every exam they tend to give because we have got a huge set of uh, topics for that. If a uh, maternal medicine topic has come and it's a new one don't get panic you know that i have to introduce 
Hello, I'm Dr. Rupashri, one of the doctors in the antenatal clinic today. May I confirm your name and age? Does it make any difference you don't know about the topic? Your introduction would stay the same, Rupashri. Right, Parveen? Now your agenda, whatever she has come with, you're here with this condition and you're here to know about your pregnancy care plan. That would stay the same. Can I ask you questions to know more about you? So till first three minutes, does it make any difference in the first two minutes that you don't know the topic? If you're confident, Vipin, I'm talking to you, my dear. If you're confident, it won't make any difference. You will have a lovely start the way you know the topic. Examiner doesn't know that you know the topic or you don't know the topic. Now, my question is, you don't know anything about that. You start with an open question. You start your information gathering and you complete your information gathering in three minutes. Now, the information gathering template, don't you know that, please? You absolutely know that. Maybe you have a problem in telling the effects. You don't know much of the effects. But my question again is that if you go with this, the template of antenatal, interpartum, and postpartum, many of the things are common. So if you people stay composed, I can 100% with confidence say that you people would pass the station if you don't keep it into your mind that, oh my God, I've not read it. And if at all, you're a little shaky, it would be borderline. But for failing a station, you need an effort. And that effort is that you get panicky, you stay quiet, and you don't reply, and you forget your basic template. So much effort is required to fail a station. So why not to be confident the way we are? If at all, one or two station would be new. For example, in November, as we were talking, the hysterectomy was a new station. Can't you people tell the breaking bad news of a hysterectomy of a placenta accreta? You know your duty of condo. You know all my lines of speaking that have to break the bad news, how to do the duty of condo, how to initiate an incident report. Though it's a new station, but you people have practiced so many of complications earlier. Am I right, Sarah? Am I right, Nandita? Am I right, Seema? Yes, Fazia? So what I mean to say is that expect that one or two stations would be new, but those new stations would be doable, as Gori is saying. Yeah, you just need to remember the basic template and you need to remember that from where are they asking and you have all the templates of the modules with you. Right. So you all have to take care of this, Ali. Please don't worry. All my Jordan students. Yes, I'm remembering you guys. You don't have to forget all my Egyptians, all my UK students, everybody out there. You people have to stay confident and remember that it would help you guys in making up the outline. So utilize your two minutes. Thank you. Staying composed and confident. Thank you, Gori, my dear. Thank you very much. Thank all right. Guys. So mother wants to say that uh, what are the exam essentials and how to build up the stamina, how to train the brain and how to focus on the station. Hello, Madhu, how are you doing? Thank you, Dr. Sidra, doing very well. Hello to very everyone. Great, <laughs> so Madhu is loved for her feedbacks and Madhu is going to tell us that uh, how the students, they can make this last moment a very productive one. Madhu, please, what do, they, what do they have to focus on in these last few days, please, so that they come out as their best? Thank you, Dr. Sidra. So guys, I'm today going to tell you on what to focus on on the last days before exam. One is going to be the online exam essential, then building up your physical stamina, building up your mental strength, which is more important, train your brain and focus on exam station on the day of the exam. How do we do that? Online exam essentials, it's important to make sure that you have a proper internet connection, which is checked with the Oslers mode. Have a speed check done on your internet connection as well. Have a proper backup connection, a Wi-Fi, dongle, or a mobile data, which has to be handy just outside the room where you will be taking up the examination. Remember that once you have checked into the Oslo system with one Wi-Fi, you can't change it with, to another without their permission. An Oslo may not recognize or you may not be allowed to log in with your URL. And if you find that your internet speed is slow, ask your Wi-Fi provider to increase the speed from his side. 
and try to silence any notification from other apps like gaming apps or Telegram or Mail's app if they are on the laptop. And check the lighting in the room where you're going to take your examination. Get some extra lights or focus light on the computer table if necessary. Please, please make sure that you charge the electronic gadgets 100% the day before the exam after you finish studying or revising on the same laptop or the desktop. This is very, very important because some of them forget to actually charge the electronic gadgets and you completely depend on the charging for the whole time that you involve yourself in the examination. Correct, Madhu. Please write down this checklist. You have to make a stick on and put in on that. Yes, your laptop should be charged. All these points are very important to avoid any sort of an unnecessary inconvenience last day. Okay. Yes, Madhu. What next? Yeah. Coming to the physical stamina. Uh, I would prefer you doing your revision from today onwards, sitting in the place where you want to take the exam with the laptop or the desktop and the connection that you're going to use on the day of exam. 100%. Time yourself and sit for about two hours together continuously, which will increase your physical endurance as well. You will not feel that you're doing it for the first time on the day of the exam. Yeah. Keep hydrating yourself. Take good amount of vegetables and fruits. Sleep well. This definitely, definitely keeps your mind sharp and helps you to focus well on the station and what is expected out of you on the exam day. Train your bladder to hold on for at least two hours because you're That's allowed a, to get on. Yeah, very important point. See, there's an adrenaline rush and it is very difficult. So now let's, let's whatever we have told you in the urogynecology, the bladder retraining, we are going to do it here so that you have a good control and you can have a focus on the station, right, Madhu? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. So coming to the mental strength, please remember you have given your best in the last few weeks or few months. Remember that you know the basics of the subject very well. After all, you've all cleared your MRCOG2, which clears your clinical knowledge. Remember that the soft skills of your presentation has already become your learner skill with the grilling stations that you've done with Dr. Sitra's course. <laughs> Remember to use the general template to take the station forward, even if you do not know anything about the station as we just discussed. Coming to training your brain, what do you have to train your brain for? Repeatedly train your brain to accept the exam scenario in a pleasant way. Keep talking to yourself or to your study buddy for continuous seven stations. Train your brain to be active, to be focused, to be sharp, around the time of the day when you're going to take your examination. For example, if you're taking it between uh, 10 o'clock to three o'clock, then at that particular time from today onwards, keep yourself active and sharp. Do not sleep, do not make yourself tiresome around this time of the day. Basically try to tune your dial clock from today. Train your brain to be mentally ready to accept even the worst scenario and how to tackle right from any unknown station to difficult role player. Train your mind to run through some good stations and some unexpected stations. And how will you be able to give your best even in that situation following the general template that is given to you? Focus finally on the day of the examination on the station. Do not see the role player. Do not see the examiner's face if you're worried. Look at the camera on the top of your desktop or laptop. Focus on the domains that are tested. Focus if the station is an SPT or is it a teaching module. I repeat, focus if the station is an SPT or an ST or a teaching module. Accordingly, tune yourself to either to speak in the layman language or go back to your medical vocabulary. Concentrate then on main contents of the station. You know everything. 
What are the points to mention? How smooth has to be the starting and ending of the station? What are the clinical governance points if you need to cover? Explain them in short sentences and with appropriate pauses. This is what you have been getting trained for. Lift the very moment. Be very mindful of what you're doing at every moment on the day of examination. Please do not allow surfacing anxiety. Do not allow restlessness to hamper your focus. Remain calm, remain composed. This will allow you to deal with any difficult or unexpected situations, believe us. Do not relive, do not dissect any previous stations. It is everything from your mind. Prepare your mind afresh for an upcoming station. Give your best. Fight till the last second as a warrior. Incorporate any point that you remember to say before the station gets completed. Give an appropriate pause, an appropriate silence whenever needed. Focus your mind. All the very best to each and every one of you who is going to attend the February 2022 exam. All the very best. Thank you very much, Madhu. Very important points to keep in mind, please. Why are we repeating these points? Because this is what you need to know now. I want to tell you out of all these points, if one thing which I have to emphasize upon is that you are not going to keep the baggage of the previous station, you're not going to carry it along. Believe me, this is the gist of passing this circuit. For example, I still remember I was just passing from my station number two to station number three. And while that, because ours was an on-site exam, when I was moving from one cubicle to the next, I remembered, oh my God, I forgot smoking and alcohol. How did I do that? I just shook my head and said, okay, fine. Rest all the points were okay. I still can pass it. It's just a matter of like one second. I forgot at that point while reaching to the next cubicle and I was extremely focused on that next point. This would happen with you. When you'll come to the next station, you'll have this thing in your mind. So do you think that all the students who pass, they do their stations 100%? Do you people think that they don't make mistakes? They don't skip smoking alcohol or for that matter, at times they skip, uh, you know, feedback or for that matter, BMI. These mistakes, they do happen. And you do have a margin of making mistakes. However, it should not be an outrightly wrong station, a wrong direction. All the students who have passed the exam, they always, after ending up the exam, they remember their mistakes. So please keep a note of that, that it's not that if you make one mistake, that is going to affect your result. One mistake does not affect the result. However, if that one mistake makes you do the mistakes in the upcoming stations, yes, then you are at a loss. Am I clear about this point? Mufida, Seema, Jun, Abida, Kasser, do you people understand? One station going wrong or one point in a station, if you're going to keep it in your mind and next part is not going to be fine, then yes, it would affect your performance. But if it's going to be left at that point, maybe that station, other points were extremely good, that's going to cover it up. So we are going to forget whatever we have done on those 10 minutes bell and we are going to be extremely focused that next two minutes is our first station, what we are going to do. Take every station as an individual station. Take every station that if I pass this station, I will pass this exam. Am I clear? Thank you very much, Madhu, for a perfect, perfect training suggestions. Thank you very much. Hello, hi. Sam. How are you doing? Hello, Zagnika. Hi, Dr. Sajjah. <laughs> it's yeah, lovely hi. listening to you, my dear. Your students are waiting for you. So Sam is going to tell us that at times in exam pauses are very important as well. It's an exam of nerves and we have to make very good strategies and how we are going to cope up with that. She's going to tell us just now. Yes, Sam. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you very much, uh, everybody. You know, so far we have had a very nice discussion and uh, I just realized that, you know, everything which I'm going to tell has already been told that live the moment, you know, be there, do not think about the past. But, you know, the toughest part which I dealt with was the silences. And, you know, there were so many pauses and there were at times when I was finishing quite early, there were times when the role player wouldn't speak 
or you know you're completely blank out could be because of rethinking what i did so i thought it's really important that we learn about pauses and silence so moving forward as we all know it's an exam of nerves okay so you know uh, mrcog is considered as one of the toughest examinations and it's so because you know everything but when you perform you have to deal with so many things at the same time on one hand you have a lot to say on the second hand there are pauses and silences in which things of the past things of the future keeps on haunting you so let's understand there will be uncomfortable silences you are going to stop somewhere and then you have let's say one or one and a half minutes of a structured discussion you don't know what to say you keep on thinking what am i supposed to say and then in case you go back or forth in time like think about the previous topic which you have done or if you start thinking about what might happen next this is going to ruin your station stay there live there what are you supposed to do is something which is coming up next so you experience blank out you experience station finishing early and then you remember to say something after the station is over and sometimes you know we all suffer from this there's a bad beginnings and mm -hmm. you know once you have a bad beginning you are going through the station you have an internal dialogue oh my god i should have started it at this note and sometimes in a particular case where you don't have to say a thing you said it like you know in androgen insensitivity you said a man by chance it's okay move on move on then what are we supposed to do what are our strategies first is inner peace calm down at that moment i said something wrong but i'm not going to make a second mistake and if you are attempting a new station let's say you finished a station and you are at a new station then you're thinking about what you did wrong previously forget about it read the question read this question with complete awareness and this goes for even the first station don't think what mistakes you can make or you tend to make read the question with complete awareness then and there don't think of past don't think think of future and the 30 seconds gap which is there in between stations is not to think about the previous stations please don't do that don't do that there will be plenty of time to think about all these stations trust me for a month until your <laughs> exam results are out you'll be thinking about what mistakes you did and you would keep on bothering dr sidra i didn't do this i'm going to fail i know you know please book me for the next course okay so that's that's normal okay so don't use those 30 seconds for thinking those are for breathing breathe in breathe out you know you can see mr po if some of you know him from kung fu panda so inner peace inner peace breathe and during a station when i was in doubt what next you know what am i going to ask next so i would use my pet words you know things which dr sidra says oh i'm so sorry i'm, I'm so sorry it's happening to you or you know things like it must have been hard on you well i'm saying this thing but in the back of my mind i'm thinking what next what next because this is the phrase exactly i would use when i'm blanked out okay and when you are in a station and the role player is giving you a hint keep your mind sharp and think on your toes if the role player goes silent try to understand where am i lacking or how do i steer this station so thinking on your toes and being sharp is the best thing that you can do to yourself. And finally, you know, don't give up. This is really important. Having said all these things, there will be stations, there will be places where you have studied everything, but your condition is exactly like this guy who is there. You know, eyes wide open and nothing inside your brain. And that's the examiner shouting out, hello, hello. I mean, you're like, oh, okay you know, I'm blank. So here, always remember, smile is the solution, smile. Ask for a lead, okay? In a structured discussion, it's like, do I have any other information? Or could you please rephrase the question? Let's say you were not able to get an answer and you want the examiner to give you some time. So you just say smartly, could you please rephrase the question? And trust me, the examiner will come around. And in the meanwhile, you'll make up something to blabber, right? Okay, moving over in a SPT, what do you say? Supposedly, there is something which is thrown to you and you don't have any idea about it. Just say, can you tell me more about it? And then she will give you a lead and will steer you to a particular 
place where she wants an answer from you. You show your situational awareness and proceed with the history. No examination, of course, it's an online examination, that's why. And then you go from, go the way you have been told as per the module. And always remember when it comes to management, you have to take it step by step, tell everything at the same place, then elaborate. Okay, you know all and you're going to perform very nicely. And I know that. Okay. <laughs> Sam, there's a question by Ravi in the chat box. It's yeah. something we don't know in the ST structure discussion, how to yeah. cope up with this. Yeah. Okay. If uh, I, I think, you know, there will be times when you don't know anything about a particular condition. If Correct. that's the case, just say that I'm sorry, I don't know. Simple. You know, you're not expected to know everything. And supposedly you don't know, you don't know, don't bluff. Okay, there are two types of questions. I would like to add on um, to the Sam's point of view. There are two types of questions in structured discussion where you feel blank. One is that you're not understanding the gist of the question, that you're not understanding what exactly the examiner wants from you. If that is the situation, you can definitely say, as she has mentioned earlier, that uh, would, you, uh, would you please tell me the um, detail of the question or can you rephrase the question? Can I have a little more information? So these two, three, four, five lines would give the clue and examiner gives you a hint. You get a direction. Okay, this is the direction. As I've told you earlier, you tell the reference, you tell the green top guideline, you tell the nice guideline, you tell the talk article. That's, that's actually the source of that answer. You get the actual gist that this is what I have to respond. However, if there is going to be a very specific question, as Sam is saying, for example, in structure discussion, he asked like a percentage or for that matter, there's something which has got a very solid answer. It's not like uh, words. It's like yes or no. Or if it's like something which has which is a very solid answer, which you can't make out out of those diplomatic lines or the explanation, then don't give a wrong answer. Then it's fine to say, um, I'm sorry about this question. I don't know about this question then it's fine. But if at all, it is something which you're not understanding. So seek information or seek help from the examiner in that case. And definitely they would do. All right. No problem, Rupashri. Do you people think that all the structured discussions would be difficult? Do you people think that all the structured discussions you people would not know? Amani, Actually, that would not be the case. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dr. Sidra, I have, I have one thing to say during my yeah, examination. Please. Uh, my uh, examiner was actually, you know, she was giving me a lot of hints Correct. and they want you to pass and they will keep on giving you hints until you get the, get the right answer. So <laughs> look at, look at Amani's, no, the, no, Sam, Sam, yeah. Amani is, Amani is saying, I would say to her, can I read and get back to you? <laughs> <laughs> so now, now we are successful in making them actually today live. So Amani, this actually, this comment makes me comfortable that means that you're out of that stress of exam <laughs> so this and, is what you can say to the junior and definitely yes the structured discussion time would be over but uh, you should be ready with this Dr. thing Sindar, that just one more yes. thing yes we your heard. student i don't think anybody among them is going to uh, be blank in a structured discussion. Correct. They would yeah. say something or the other. Don't yeah, forget. definitely. Yes. Yeah. So I'm I'm clear about this that our students won't be like that. But then again, uh, see the nervousness and these thoughts they definitely come in mind because this is how the exam is and this is pretty natural to feel this way. So thank you very much, Noura. Thank you, Saima. Thank you very much, Sam, for a beautiful discussion and these pauses, these silence. You should be knowing. I would just like to add in one thing. Like today, I was taking a mock just before you guys. Uh, I just ended an hour earlier and I was telling the student that, see, the timer is in front of you. No need to rush through it. If 10 minutes are there, either stretch yourself or squeeze in the information, please match to the timer. There's no fun of like staying quiet and completing it at seven minutes or eight minutes. You've got a lot to say in the gynae list or for that matter, labor word is difficult in time management, but smaller structure discussion. If I ask, I tell you about myself, yes, one of two structure discussions, they ended for me in like seven, eight minutes. And I feel that those two minutes were the best time of the circuit because I was breathing and I got to time before going to the next station but then again now the clock is in front of you so the the pauses or the silence of 
finishing up the station early that that's in your hands why because you can just stretch in or even if it's an spt or a structured discussion my dear just do a quick recap for example you see that okay eight minutes are there and you have completed your simulated patient task so you say all right Anne. so just a quick recap what did we discuss today this 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 is i'm going to give you the patient information leaflet connect you to the support group right back to your gp and uh, this is your next appointment so start doing the important points again because it contains score when you see that you have time so if you have a good control over the station make it a good one just start the recap and complete your 10 minutes did you people get that definitely yes madhu yeah two minutes yes my dear right okay all right so um now we are going to take um ash who is going to tell actually what do you have to uh, do yes dr Maji. sitra one one uh, yes Gauri. one yes, thing yes, regarding Maji. this structure discussion that uh, the yes, students Maji, are worried yes so just one more hint in a structure discussion see even though a structure discussion will be from any module we all know structure discussion question either whatever the case in front of you examiner first question might ask you what further information or they will start summarize your case Correct. again S you bar. all know mm. yeah again you all know summarize in the way of s bar you have to yeah. pick all your points then next question will be how will you manage again management is start from history examination investigation treatment History, again, same template you can follow in a structured discussion also. Apart from current complaint, then you follow all your template. Either it is maternal medicine or core surgical, whatever it is written there. And accordingly, you can involve safety points. In all, all the safety points will be in the structured discussion. You involve your MDT. You enumerate all the names of MDT team. So like that, more than two third stations will be covered if you don't know anything about applied clinical knowledge. Half things at least I know everybody can tell, even though in a structured discussion. Correct. Please. So this this happens when Gori, when they have the presence of mind, when they're cool and calm. Yes. If they will feel in two minutes that no, we don't know the station, they won't be able to think. If they'll feel that okay, we know the outline of it, let's make it. So we'll be able to speak. Then you will understand what Gori is talking about. See the history template you people know. SBAR, I've taught you accurately that how you have to do the S bar. You people know that if it's a maternal medicine structure discussion, how to go through the antenatal interpartum and postpartum. If it's a complication or a clinical governance or an audit, you know the cycle, you know the steps. So you have been reading a lot. Nothing would be out of this world. Nothing would be alien for you guys. It's just that you are able to speak with the presence of mind. Yeah. If you people are going to do that, believe me, nothing would be difficult, provided you people stay stable, you people stay composed. All right, Bhumika. Yes, Rupashri. Love and you one, all. One more, you and yes, one Maji. more thing I want to yes, add. One yes, more thing, uh, yeah. yeah. Regarding there's some students asking about percentages. Yeah, yeah. it is it is happened with me in my menopause uh, station. When I complete all the template, at the end, she asked me one question. Can you tell me what is exact percentage of breast cancer risk if I will take this HRT? So at that time, even though I remember, but I was not sure at that time. Mm -hmm. Then I say, mm -hmm. then I told, uh, at this stage, I can say it is more as compared to general population, but exact percentage, and I will need to confirm and get back to you. And she was saying, okay. Correct. Did you people say that how diplomacy uh, actually counts on that day? As I always teach you guys, it's very difficult for me to answer this question at the moment. However, the baby doctor or the sleep doctor would be here to address your concerns or my consultant would be here. See, these types of statements you should be ready with. So how beautifully she said that it's going to be more. So you just twist it. You should have a good control over the station. Yes, my dear, absolutely, June. I want you all to learn this one thing. That day, which you're going to face from Monday onwards, that would be another day practicing with your mentor. Don't feel that you're being judged, you're being uh, examined or you're being assessed. That feeling makes you go nervous. Just feel that you're presenting to me and that's it. You are, you are presenting the same way, the way we do the circuit, the way we do the stations, the way we have conducted the course, that's it. If you're going to feel that way, or for that matter, you are sitting in your clinic and you're dealing with the patient, the more you're going to stay natural, the better would be your spinal reflex and the things would be coming spontaneously, believe me. 
Oh, yes, Nandita, it's the same mock that you have taken, sweetheart. All right. Hello, Ashwarya. How are you doing? Students are desperate to listen to your voice, my dear. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, great. I'm, I'm so, so um, Ashwarya is going to tell yeah. you guys, friends, that... Um, what exactly are the important topics for the last three days? Because now students are messaging us that uh, how we have to utilize these last three days and uh, what are those important things? So we have made a list and he's going to elaborate what exactly you people have to do a day before exam. What are those soft skills you need to polish and night before the exam and especially after the exam, you people have to take care of certain things. Then we are going to take questions. Yes, Ashwarya. Yeah. So hello, everyone. Um, I'm so happy to talk to you all because I feel these are very important uh, things that you should remember. Well, first, before I begin, I want to tell that if you're feeling stressed and underconfident or you think you can't do, it's very natural, very normal. Every person feels that every person goes through this phase. But what makes Dr. Sidra's student different is how we react to this. Okay, and that's what we are telling you today. Believe me, you know, if I talk about personally, I remember just four days before my exam <laughs> that I can't do it. I am shaking. I can't do it. And she was like, no, you can. And I trusted her faith in me and I did it. And that's what I really request you all to trust our faith in you. Okay. Mm -hmm. We know that you all can do it. Believe us. Okay. So, yeah. So coming to just the day before exam, as my various colleagues, Dr. Sam, Dr. Gauri, Dr. Madhu, and Dr. Kalei, they have made my presentation very easy because they have put everything. So I'll just rush through the points, but I will elaborate on points which are specific, which I want to tell you. Yeah, I've done that. Yes, it was Reena. Please go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, so just the day before exam, as Dr. Madhu very well told you, please check your internet connection and all. May acquaint yourself with the RCOG Osler. There should be no confusion that we're how to, uh, you know, uh, go about the Osler and complete the Osler device. Check if you have not yet done. Now, just one day before the exam, revise the volatile content from frequently asked stations. Okay, everyone have their own set of volatile contents. Okay, focus on the flowchart and algorithms only. You need to just scan through it. Okay, there is no time to read it in detail or line by line. Just see the algorithm. Okay, yeah, this was this, this was this, that's it. Avoid reading any new topic and don't be tensed. So this is what I did. I made a list for myself for all the modules which were volatile for me. Like in early pregnancy, like, you know, those cutoffs for various management for ectopic, follow-up for molar pregnancy, hyperemesis gravidarum flowchart. Similarly, for every module, I made a list. Similarly, you can do it. You can follow my list or you can make your own list, which you feel are volatile, which you need to just scan through on the last day. Make sure that you revise all the staging and stage-wise management of the cancers because they are extremely volatile, okay? And also, please don't miss the UK MEC contraception. That is also important. Right. Yeah, that's very important. That's going to take a part of every last two, three minutes of the maternal medicine that's revolving around that, right, Ash? Yes. <laughs> okay, my dear, yeah. Moreover, we have taught you, Dr. Sidra has taught you amazingly how to deal with the various soft skills. So just, you know, sit calmly on the last day, close your eyes, and for five minutes, just go through in your mind, okay, how, what, how I should break the bad news, how I'm supposed to negotiate with the patient, how I'm supposed to settle an angry patient, or dealing with an upset or crying patient, you know, handling bullying, just Close your eyes and remember those steps, those clever steps, which Dr. Sidra has taught all of us to deal with these soft skills because they are ultra important for layman station, okay, which are the maximum carrying marks. Also, don't forget the tips how to handle the structure discussion, like you are also always supposed to be confident, always start with the summary, the SBR format, try to quote the guidelines, and try to justify your answers, and also the tips for stimulated patient task, 
that how you are going to you know uh, go through the stimulate patient task yeah. so revise this stepwise approach just the last day close your eyes for five ten minutes and do that now coming to the night before the exam please keep a formal attire for the next year ready it's a formal exam you will be visible to the role player to the examiner please wear a formal attire be neat and clean take adequate sound sleep for eight hours you know i want to tell you personally i was one of those candidates who used to be awake whole night just before the exam trying to revise everything or just you know half an hour before the exam turning my pages oh i have i have seen this i have seen this i have done this for part two believe me but for part three i realized this and thankfully i did that very very important for part three is to be alert during those three to four hours every minute requires an alertness for that please take a sound sleep by revising that very last night or very last uh, hour you are not going to help yourself you are just going to make it more difficult for you moreover okay. ashwarya i would like to add in in this friends why everybody is emphasizing on this sleep why kalai why gori why sam why ash why everybody is saying including me i always say in fact now ash is saying that he was awake whole night before part 2 exam even then i used to be strict with these guys that no you have to sleep sleep more why because your older memory that actually works but part 3 is something different part 3 is about speaking believe me if you are not having a sound sleep you start fumbling your mind doesn't work because it's a coordination of your brain with your actually your speaking your speech tends to have a delay remember when you've got a good sleep actually the words they come out spontaneously and if you have lack of sleep there's no coordination between the brain and your speech which we exactly want on that day nothing new you would do in those last day so please sleep 8 to 10 hours so that you're fresh the next day how important it is you would realize on the day of exam that your performance was really good right ashwarya would you agree yes very very true that's mm -hmm. what i want to tell you that like in part 2 when you are taking the exam what you're thinking is just the question and the answer that's it but in part 3 you are speaking to the role player you are thinking in the back of your mind you are judging the you are looking at the timer you are you know there are so many things going on at the same time it's very 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 important that you are alert for every minute of every station mm -hmm. now on the day of the exam please don't be tensed have full faith on your hard work okay do take only light meal don't take a heavy meal you don't want to fall asleep during your exam okay you need complete alertness as dr uh, madhu has very well told you please check the internet connection you don't want anything at the last moment to tense you up right and please make sit in, uh, please do sit in a room where you are not disturbed by anybody also do not keep any restricted items on your desk because if the chaperone ask you or the examiner then it just causes unnecessary anxiety okay keep a glass of water or a juice chocolate or cookies without any wrappers you don't want them to question anything okay log in earlier than it is asked to avoid any last minute problems issues anxieties this happened with me that's why i have put this you know i was not able to log in so i didn't panic i just called on the number which is given in the mail id they picked up within three rings and they solved the issue so uh, ashwarya sorry for cutting in my dear um uh, now here a student is asking the chaperone number comes later or it would be like with them now um i uh, i'm to be very honest i've forgotten about this now but gori I do you remember yes yeah yeah uh, actually they sent you this exam number candidate seat number in the same form it is written chaperone number nandita why are you not getting my dear on the same email it would be there sweetheart Yeah, that number, Kosser, as a uh, 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 repeat it, Ashwarya. What did you do when you couldn't log in? Repeat the same thing again for the students, please. Yeah. So whenever uh, all the mails of RCOG that you have been getting your uh, number, the Shakran number, the Osla, in the bottom down, they do always give the contact information for any queries. Contact on this number. 
even they give the mail ID. But that time I just called, they picked up in three minutes. I told them that I'm not able to log in. This is my candidate number. They kept me on hold. They told, okay, just hold on. Let me solve this problem. And the problem was solved. I see. Second. All right. So don't worry. Please keep your chaperone number on the chat in uh, front of you guys so that there is any technical problem. You can approach the chaperone, please. All right. Okay. Yeah. No, no, Javeria. Javeria, mean chaperone ID serial number? No, no, that phone yeah. number. The phone number. There they are going to ask your uh, RCOG number. First, you need to ring them up on the phone, phone number that they have given. And then they will ask the details like your candidate number, your name. Okay, Ambreen, Ambreen, right in the fast track. Yes, Kosser has put the number, but I think Kosser chaperones will be different because they have to attend the students, so it won't, won't be same. Ambreen, uh, send your email, that to Gori. She is going to search for you and she'll tell you that where is the number, okay? Just put in the fast track group. All right, my dear. Yeah, yeah I right. Have my, uh, even though I had my old uh, this number, uh, that paper is with me, so I will check and then uh, let me exactly tell, tell all the students it. in the fast track in the crash course yes. in the regular all of them uh, in the uh, day wise group as well, Corey, to facilitate yes. them because I don't want them to panic on this. That okay, where to contact? Mm -hmm. Everybody should have prior to the exam the numbers. It's our responsibility that they are calm and they know that what they have to what do if they are in a, a difficult situation. All right. Now, yes. Ash. Even though, uh, uh, even though, one more thing here regarding Chief yes, Khan, my dear. I I had this uh, one difficulty during my one station uh, that was like a general fistula. At that time, I had some problem with the examiner. So at that, what sort of a problem you could yeah, not see? Yeah. No. No. Actually, what happened? Uh, there were no questions written. So okay. after scenario, after two minutes, uh, he was quite. I was also quite. Mm. I, was oh, okay. <laughs> I can't understand what to do after okay. introduction LY. Then I started myself. I start, I thought I don't know, maybe you want me to start directly. I okay. started and I explained full less bar and uh, full management. After mm. three minutes, he asked me first question. What is your diagnosis and how will you manage VVF? Even though before three minutes, I told everything. I see. Okay, I thought okay, maybe, okay. I don't know, he didn't So what happened? The, the slide was not visible to you? Hmm? No, no, everything was there. But hmm. I don't know means why he repeat. He was not able to hear or I don't know what was the issue. Oh, okay, then okay. immediately I raised my hand. I didn't write anything in the chat box. I thought already three minutes waste. If I write again, one minute will be waste to chat and then once my chaperone will see and he will get back to me then mm. directly I raised my hands because you mm. have options either you can write anything or you can directly raise your hands because your chaperone continuously observing you mm. so immediately so immediately after my raised and he came forward uh, and examiners uh, this screen went down then he was asking me what happened then I explained this is the situation I don't know what is happening but i explain everything all the management again i repeated also but can you please recheck again i told uh, uh, chepra and then he was telling no problem you carry on your station i will let back to you so when i complete my seven stations after that he came back and he was telling no need to worry your station were perfect That's okay it. fine did you people understand friends yeah <laughs> nandita rupashi is always so, Simra, where, where can you find yeah. this chapter number uh, and the email at the bottom, Iman, on the bottom of the email, as Ash is saying, Ash, you're going to put in the, all the WhatsApp groups of the study groups, right? Okay. Oh, yeah. So the, put the, them the there. That where exactly? Yes, sweetheart. Yes, my dear. Yeah. This is the that PRP technical team that, number. Is that one? You what? just put the screenshot oh, in the study group. Switchboard, that is? Yes. yes. Please. 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 please help us. Uh, uh, thanks, Dr. Sidra. This is yes, Madhu. Yes, my dear. Yes, yes, yeah. Madhu, please go ahead. Yeah, tell them you will get connected to the chaperone as soon as you get into or logged into. Before logging in, if you have any technical problems, you have the technical team's number which you can actually call up to. Even if you miss one station because of the delay, that will be compensated. And they have some extra time given at the end of your 14 sessions. They'll ask mm. you to wait. Make sure that all your stations, the recordings are all clear. If there was any glitch, then they are going to correct it or ask you to stay back and do the station, whichever they find if it is not really good. So they give you ample chances there 
they guide you at each and every point believe me so you don't have to worry at all even if you get a little delayed in getting the connection if you have some glitches you always have the technical team's number in hand and before you log in you can always go back check on your mobile and call up to them once you get logged in you have the chaperone who will help you each and every moment because they are going to constantly observe you you have a one is to one chaperone who will be observing you throughout the examination the very They're easy thing is options. friends that you raise hand that's the easiest that and the quickest the thing that, yeah that is the easiest okay. and the quickest no way that you raise your hand okay yes yeah. all right okay so to wind up yes ashwarya what do they have to do in 2 minutes and 10 minutes so that they keep these points in their mind yeah just uh, before i proceed to this i want to tell one more very important aspect that before your actual exam starts the ahead of the examination uh, gives you a briefing so if you have any queries please get it solved that time don't feel shy or anything okay make sure if any any query you have about anything please ask the head during that briefing they are very uh, open to answer all the questions now coming to how to handle this is what dr sidra has taught all of us so i'll just tell in very quick those 2 minutes are ultra important remember these days the exams they are giving long investigation reports they are giving many many pages so it is a challenge like uh, to read 5 6 pages in 2 minutes to plan your management it's quite challenging so you have to be smart so first confirm whether it is a stimulated patient task or structured discussion quickly read the whole scenario only scan through the reports read only the impression part on the long investigation reports like histopathological examination or ultrasound report make a quick plan note down any important points and please note down the name of the patient because when we are taking so many stations we are so tense it's very natural to mix up the name of the patients and it will give a very bad impression okay and the patient role player might even get angry if you will address by the wrong name you don't want that in 10 minutes yes as dr sidra has taught all of us how to deal with the whole scenario you go ahead please in the last 1 minute wind up the station don't leave it abruptly it looks very incomplete very under confidence please wind up the station whether it's a structured discussion or a stimulated patient task please wind up next slide please so as dr sidra has very well told after each station whether it's good or bad forget about it and focus on the next station the examiner in the next station has no idea about how your performance was in the previous station and that is one of the biggest advantages of the mrcog part 3 pattern that it's not just one examiner taking your 14 stations who makes up an opinion about you in the first three stations and then judge you accordingly in the next one you have a new examiner for every station take an advantage of that the examiner will have no idea whether you are an average candidate or you are a topper or you are a loser so please prove yourself that you are the topper in every station Yeah, so, and the best thing is Ash that uh, you you ask those students who have scored like seventy five, eighty percent. Even them, you ask me. Uh, nobody is sure after the exam that you're hundred percent passing. Why? Because it's a human nature, human psyche that all the mistakes are coming into into your mind. And all of you would agree that when you people took your exam, you all had passed in first go. You all messaged me with, "Oh, ma'am, I I forgot this. I forgot this. I forgot this." And then my question was, "You didn't do anything good. All forgetting things first, and this is actually after the exam comes into your mind." So this thing you people have to remember that even. all the passing candidates they feel that we did mistakes so it's it's pretty natural to feel this way so feel yourself to be confident by making yourself very very strong even if a station goes a little borderline yes ash what do they have to do uh, after uh, the exam like i will just tell in one very small instance like before my exam i was ultra confident in labor ward prioritization because <laughs> i had practiced it so well and believe me that was my worst station in the exam i couldn't complete it and when i couldn't i was upset for a second but then i was right i was like no the next station new mindset i'm not thinking it's over forget it 
So that's what I really request you all of you to do. Now, after the exam, please log out only after the permission for exit from RCOG. And it might take even one or one and a half hours. So please be patient, sit calmly, don't use your mobile, don't go away from the screen, just please sit there. I know it gets very difficult once you're done with the exam, you just want to take rest or message somebody or whatever, calm down that time. Until then, do not move away from the screen or use a mobile phone. And please, after the exam, do rest and enjoy. <laughs> done with the exam, forget about it. That's what I did. I took a nice vacation with my family and I completely forgot about the exam. And just when the result came, that's what, when I thought about it. So please, all the very best to all of you. You have been working really hard and you deserve all the success. Just these last few days, make the utmost uh, use of peace. Yeah, thank, thank you. you very much, Ash. Thank you. A quick recap of the most important things of the booster, please. Eight to 10 hours sleep. Follow the template of this station. It's a structured discussion template or a simulated patient task. Don't be robotic in that. Listen to the role player. I repeat it again. I would be ringing in your ears. Please listen to the role player. Whatever the station holds for you, when the bell rings, leave the station there and then and focus on the next station. For each starting station, tell yourself that if I'll pass this station, I'll pass the exam. So I have to focus on these 10 minutes. Follow the role player. Follow the structured discussion tips and tricks which I've given to you guys. Follow the time management and above all, believe in yourself. This is the gist which we have discussed today. This is the outline and those important points which I need to emphasize for all of you. Believe me, the success is yours. People who had been doing it earlier were just like you. Out of my experience of years and years, I would tell you that you people are in the best position. I had maximum marks of my students, but daily one of the students who were not with me in the regular or the fast track as well, who were not my students, but they're taking marks with me. Believe me, this is a competitive exam. I can definitely feel that you people are very, very well prepared. You people are master in those tips and tricks. You people are master in handling the role player. And many of you, when you speak, I feel that I'm speaking. I mean it, and I'm proud of this, that you people had been working so hard in all this that the best is yet to come and we are going to cherish these moments. So no new topics from today, only focus, only believing in yourself. Do not compare with anyone because eventually it's your exam, it's your result and lots of prayers and good luck. You are going to make the RFA team proud. We happy with you guys 24 seven and we are going to make it a success. You all deserve this success. You just have to be confident and believe in yourself. Good luck from the entire team of RFA tutors. We are here to give you all the answers to the queries which you people had been asking. Yes, my dear. ID check. All right. Sam, Gori, one by one, take the questions, please. ID check. What do you want to know, iPhone? Is this, is this? Student no, of mine. ID, ID means any ID. Just they want to see your face. If you have passport, then you can show them passport through your camera. Just uh, in front of the camera, just show them your passport. That's, that's only. That's all. Okay. Any other question, please? We yes. do have a list of... Uh, uh, Dr. Sidra. So please... One by one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, my dear, please. Yes, Dr. somebody Dr. was Sidra? asking a question. Yes, they my dearest. Yes. <laughs> Yes, Rupashri, you can, one uh, by one. Yes, please. If, if the, we want to call the chevron, we can keep the mobile by, by our side or we, have, we should not keep the mobile. How we, how, where we will call and how we will call? Uh, there is can no mobile, my dear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ash, you can give answer, yes. Yeah, so actually what I was telling, it was before I logged in. Okay, I was not able to log in. So for that, I called. And once they solved my problem, I logged in, then the sh you, need not, you don't need your mobile phone after logging at all. Just keep it away. Okay. And the chaperone will be there always to navigate you throughout any issues you have. 
then through the no. screen you can raise your hand parvin yes. okay, yeah. okay 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 I yes got sam thank you, sam thank you. sam wants to add in something yes sam idea yeah so what i did was in case you have to call rcog and you have a feeling that things might go wrong put your phone in silent then aeroplane mode so when you want to call you switch it on you know you switch off the aeroplane mode still you know all the notifications won't come it won't disturb you and you can immediately call them okay make sense got it parveen no okay. no i did not get phone keep the phone in airplane mode okay okay and so, before you put that in airplane mode first first and foremost make it all silent and then turn on the airplane mode clear yeah in mm -hmm. case you have to call the rcog from your phone you switch on the air, switch off the airplane mode so that you have an active connection yeah and you can immediately call them up okay without okay. all those telegram and whatsapp messages or any other notifications disturbing you mm -hmm. right okay Keep but the phone uh, is and, silent. Mm -hmm. and one more thing means in exam uh, they will tell you that you you completed your exam yeah yes means if i finish my 14th station Mm -hmm. then they will uh, uh, tell me that you finish your exam not How immediately will... they will tell yeah. you after some time they will tell you the chaperon will come and tell you that you may go on a washroom break or something like that will let you know when the when you can log off okay, okay. so you are supposed yeah. to be sitting there It takes around 1 hour at times and sometimes i personally had a friend who waited for 4 hours okay okay Okay. Yeah. So Thank this this is much. what Ashwarya was saying. You can't leave the meeting until and unless that Osla mode that they say that yes, now you can leave. Okay. Until and unless you have to stay there until and unless you get the permission. Got it? Yeah. Okay. Thank All right. Thank much. you very much. Thank you. Okay. Uh, no, Nandita, it's fine, my dear. You can use your mobile to call them. All right. Nadine, my dear, generally. to be honest i would tell you guys to fight for all 14 stations but two three stations going up and down that actually makes up your exam that's not a problem because it's a competitive exam um the easy stations they should not go bad but generally two three stations you have a you know um chance of uh, making them borderline but don't feel that way make every station go passing for example i say that if one station is a, the most difficult station and students were facing difficulty in that station c it's a circuit and we examiners we have to actually pass the few of the candidates out of that so out of 14 all 14 cannot be failing in that so be in the upper group be in the upper strata so that we, if if two or three have to pass those two or three are actually including you got it my dear so even if it's a worst station even then they have to pass somebody right so if somebody has to be passing in that so it's only going to be the one who is going to stay composed got it keeping calm all right absolutely stalling only fast track and regular are absolutely fine nothing else is required only these yes yes 100% we have to sit silent till the exam is over <laughs> yes i know it's better to sit silence and just wait until you are getting permission to leave okay uh, right there's one more thing i want to yes, here yes here yeah. here some students are asking that anyone come in our room or not see one more general advice which i did on my exam day the better idea keep uh, tell your family to go for the picnic on that day <laughs> don't allow any member at home except, yeah. except your husband or your wife actually my husband he was the another chaperon for me who was waiting outside i told him to wait outside if anybody bell ring or anything i don't want to disturb just take chair and keep our sit outside the door <laughs> yeah. all right so all yeah. of you please take care of this it's better to be in a room where no entry no exit other than you all right okay uh varsha do the 2022 talks from the website okay the january one which i have specifically told you guys and the last 3 years just revise from the summaries that's it if you've done it early just revise them if not done it's okay all the paper is not going to be from the talks all the stations are not going to be from talks okay it's okay no problem three topics just do from them from the website 2022 january okay that's it sweetheart all right okay. yes my dear Yes, Rupesh. Uh, 
good evening ma'am hi good so, evening sirha yes ma'am ji ma'am um, i would like to talk to gauri or uh, ash uh, regarding the video demo that they gave that day they said that uh, on the left hand side there is a uh, uh, icon which which says that if you click on it um, the role player becomes small and you can see your question and uh, there is another icon which uh, if you click then your clinical notes what you're writing um, that can be seen but is it possible to see both together because what i understood from that day you can either see the question or you can see your notes not both okay no, you can me... see both yeah okay you can see both? Yeah. we can okay. see both there is how it goes is there is one big screen okay which is your main screen okay. which covers 80% of your screen and on the bottom part uh, you will have your uh, uh, multiple screens now it's your choice whether to put the role play as the main screen or the question paper as the main screen or even you can make the examiner as the main screen but of course it is always advisable to keep the question paper as the main screen so that you can scroll through that time okay if you have missed anything important because uh, it's up to you but it's always advisable to keep the question paper as the main screen but however you can see both at the same time you can see uh, the role player down at the bottom as uh, the video of that role player yeah and uh, and my notes at the side at the right side i can see my notes yes yes definitely ash uh, if uh, suppose we are supposed to look at the role player properly because if it's a case of you know sexual abuse or domestic violence or something we need to see her reactions on her face yeah. and if yeah. she is in the corner down below um, i may not be able to look at her face properly no what do i do yeah at that that's, point that's for a true. moment make her full screen yeah. my dear if you want to analyze yeah or better okay. at that time when you know that you are talking something sensitive you are break, breaking a bad news or something very empathetic look into the camera during that time even okay. if the role play screen is down below mm -hmm. just, look you know camera. look in the camera and for a fraction second you can check okay how is the role player reacting Okay. And another very important question. Um, uh, suppose there is a, a station, and as Gauri told us that uh, we don't need to say about the examination part, and they give us the examination. Now, suppose a, a, a station where they don't give the examination, so we are supposed to prompt them that uh, I would like to examine my patient with a chaperone, or do we just wait, or what do we do? How do we handle that if they don't give the examination? Yeah, I think Gauri will uh, take that question very well better than me. <laughs> yes, uh, see, see, my dear. Uh, first of all they will not give you any station in which we need examination okay 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 second thing suppose one station vaginismus or transfer for genital septum whatever it was written that uh, patient will not allow you to examine today as she is having a periods of menstrual cycle okay mm -hmm. so in that point you can say that i can see in your notes that you are having a cycle so we can't examine you yes I will examine you in my next visit along with my consultant. Mm, Means in that idea. station you can twist this sentence like that. And Otherwise, suppose they want to send a swab or something. How do we say that? Uh, um, uh, since you're having, she had some infection or something. I will be taking your swab. Something like that. How do you say that? No, because examination not allowed in the online. So definitely they will not give you those mm. station in which we need examination. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Rupashri. Thank you very much. Any further question, friends? Ma'am, Priya has a question. question. Yes, we had. Yes, my dear. Uh, so, ma'am, like uh, when, uh, like it was said that I should look in the camera and the question should be on the screen. Yes, so, you know, um, so when I'm seeing the question on the screen, so um, won't my eye contact with the role player be, you know, not maintained? Look at the look at the camera. So that is actually what you are visible to them. Let okay. me take up this question again because uh, during the briefing time, the head of the examination told us very clearly that we do understand that since it's an online and you won't be able to make that eye contact, so your marks won't be detected for that. However, I will still suggest that during any sensitive part of the station, do make an effort to look into the camera so that the role player perceives you as you're looking into uh, that person, okay? However, don't be worried, oh, I'm looking in the question paper, I'm not uh, looking at the camera, will my marks be deducted? No, they won't be, okay? Yeah, Priya, my dear? 
ओके 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 मैम सो 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 द टेक होम मैसेज इज आई कैन कीप द क्वेश्चन पेपर ओपन एंड लुक एट द कैमरा व्हाइल करेक्ट माय डियर यस ओके ऑल राइट अनु हैज अ क्वेश्चन हेलो विल द रोल प्लेयर्स और एग्जामिनर्स बी रिपीटेड जनरली नो अनु नो माय डियर नो नो अनु नो okay thank you very much jun thank you yes my dear please yeah that uh, what the mail given that url number username and access pin we will use that uh, thing only that uh, during exam day right or we will get the another mail um gori is it the same thing which they are talking about which you were telling them about the number so ma yeah, for- Yes, yeah. Yesterday, yesterday. yeah. So Monday exam is started. So tomorrow and day after tomorrow there is holiday. So I think whatever paper they should send till today. Today is last. Day. Wait, Soma, when did you get this email? I I got two uh, three days before. Yeah, that's no, that's the, that's the email no. with your with your details. Mm, okay, that's all. Yeah. That they have given one URL now of link and username and access pin. Yeah, thank you yeah. yes this is this is this is the final day the annual day what you are going to put in everything okay okay, okay. and moreover soma don't worry the entire fast track all the study groups would be active will be all available in that right so don't worry at all even till that time students last time in the fast track as well they were messaging when they were not able to log in so every all the support would be there so don't worry about this okay and on your day many students are appearing if you see the whatsapp every day like 40 40 students they are appearing so that's not a problem okay so you all are there in the study group for the support okay okay okay, okay my dear you. thank you thank you my dear right Hello, priya that's sister. fine yes we had yes my dear i have one question mhm if the connection of the wifi got uh, disconnected i mean we can use yes, the, our no. mobile data actually i'm never in favor of the mobile data reason being that mm. it, it is it is the weakest in terms of the uh, you know being smooth so um ensure that your lan is actually uh, better but uh, as a backup as madhu was saying you people can definitely keep but don't keep it as your main stay of you know internet as a backup you can keep it All right. Okay. okay. Did you do the? Did you do? Did you do the Oslo check that that connectivity thing yeah, which everybody yeah. was doing? Yeah. Yes. We what, have checked. Yes. Hind, what did it show? Uh, our uh, network is uh, the Wi-Fi is good. Okay, But that's fine. In case, in case of. Okay, that's that's fine. No, no. As a backup, please keep. Yes, as a backup, do keep it. All right. Where is Fadwa Hind? Can't see her here. I'm, I'm, I'm Fadwa. I'm Fadwa with him. Okay, okay, okay. I thought Hind asked the question already. Thank you very much, Fadwa. Sweet hand. Thank you very much. Yes, sweet. Yes, my dear. Please. Uh, yeah, all right. I got that mail on ninth Feb. That's fine. I think Soma. everybody. Yes, yes, the same. Everybody is getting. Don't worry, Soma. Okay. Doctor Sidra. Yes, May. Yeah, uh, I want to ask. There is demo video you said about uh, Osla. I will send it, my dear. Okay, I'll send it to you. Okay, I'll send yes. in this fast track group. All right. Okay. Please, yeah. yeah. Somebody else was asking a question. Please, yes. Somebody else was asking. Ahmed. About uh, the result, when will be anticipated? Oh wow, Ahmed. <laughs> <laughs> they will tell right. you at the end. Yeah. Yeah. End, so, uh, <laughs> Ahmed, don't worry. What do you, What do you plan actually after the exam? You, Ali, where is Faris? Hello. <laughs> I will travel. I will travel to KSA for doing online. Oh, inshallah. Oh, inshallah. That's that's the best thing you can plan, my dear. Do it, okay? And you'll get the best of the results. All right. No, <laughs> okay, my dear. No, no. Generally, generally, my dear, four to six weeks. That's a general time. Four to six days. Four to six weeks. Yes, my dear. Thank four you. Four weeks is minimum. like this part two result is coming just after uh 20 30 days so 30 days to another two weeks like four to six weeks is the general time for the result which had been like for you know last many years this is the pattern going on ahmed okay thank All you right. so much thank you very much my dear thank it you ahmed it will be worth it <laughs> yeah all right any other question please Uh, okay, sure, Priya. I will. I will send that in the regulars as well. Wherever you people are, you can just contact the moderators, and they will be sending you the links. Okay. So different courses have got different moderators. You people can just uh, uh, get facilitated. All right. Okay. Any other question? 
And yes, definitely. Thing, Anu. Vera, yes, uh, one more yes, thing Gauri. regarding internet, I want to add one point. Suppose uh, wherever your internet connection is there, kindly sit in that table and chair. Okay, keep your table and chair in that side where you have your internet booster, and try to connect your laptop via directly into the internet booster. <clears throat> and rest other gadget, all the mobiles, whatever you have at home, everything closed on that day. Yeah, and it should not be running. Why? Because specifically, you know, nobody should be uh, using that because it can actually weaken your uh, connectivity. So it's better that you are only through with that internet. The streaming would be better. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Confidentiality agreement. Please send it, my dear. Aklima, send it, sweetheart. Yes, yes, yes. Send it, please. Don't make it a delay. All right. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, friends, any other question, please? We are right there. Uh, everybody is going to support you till your exam. Even after that, we are going to make it very easy, very smooth for you guys. Don't worry at all. I would just like to tell you all that everybody has passed through the same. And daily, you people would be getting those motivational notes, those discussions. Reason being, we can understand that what you're passing through, that we all had been passing through this tough time. And eventually, there would be a time when you'll cherish all these moments, right? It's always better, my dear. Wired is always better because it has its stable connection. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you to all team for being present here. And thank you for all my students. I know that uh, many of the Malaysian students, they did not join because of the timings. So you people will get the records on the website. Okay. Take care of yourself. Take care of your diet. Take care of your health. We have full faith in you. One, two, even three stations. They get a little up and down. Please don't worry. Feel confident that you are going to do best for each station. Till the last station, I would be ringing in your ears that you are going to pass this station. You would be passing this exam. Your all stations should go smooth and they should not be affecting anything if you've forgotten in one or two stations because you will forget. It's pretty natural as a human. Everybody forgets, but at the end of the day, you would be passing this exam if you'll stay composed, if you'll stay confident, I would be reminding you all again to set your sleep cycle and you are going to be fresh in exam. You all have been working hard and this is the time to stay composed, stay confident. We love you all. Best of luck from the entire team of RFA tutors. Thank you very much for being available. Now is the time to make it a success together. Thank you very much and make us proud. Bye-bye. Thank you very much.